so there's tremendous anxiety about the workforce issues in AI, and they, they build on larger, longer concerns about automation and the effect it has on jobs. What's different here than before is machine learning and artificial intelligence are having a really broad impact on a whole different set of fields, and also rather abruptly, right? This sort of confluence of data, better computing pattern, better, and better algorithms happen so fast that the transformation is, is quicker than governments and companies and educational institutions can adapt. If you, if you flip the question around and you ask, what is AI not good at? In other words, what are humans good at and what's, what's left for us to do? So the two things that are harder for the machine to do are creativity and social skills and the sort of social perceptiveness. And so the roles that involve, you know, sort of social perception, caregiving, it's a good example. You can automate some routine aspects of caregiving, but a lot of that really does rely on a kind of social skill and perceptiveness that machines uh, don't have. And creativity is something machines may behave in ways that seem creative when they make a smart move in, in the game of Go or chess, but it's really born out of exhaustive enumeration and evaluation of the underlying data. It's not born out of that spark that we still don't understand how we do it. And that's a clarion call for thinking about not only retraining, but even basic education. The way we teach today, even at the you know K6 or K12 level, doesn't put enough emphasis on on creativity and social perceptiveness and design and working in teams. These are the kind of things that are going to matter so much in the future and are mattering already much faster than we've adapted to them.